What's going on guys, it's Brendan from modern to me and today we're going to be continuing with classes and we're going to be learning about the constructor. Now we've actually been working with constructors and I've touched on them just a tad bit, but we're going to work with them a little bit today. So let me show you an example of what a constructor is. We've actually used constructors when we've been using scanners. So I'm back in the first class with our main method and I'm just going to import the java.util.scanner so we can work with the scanner just a little bit. So when we create a scanner, the way I taught you is you type scanner and the variable name and you set it equal to new and then scanner. And then in here you type system dot in and with a semicolon. And this is a constructor right here. Whenever you create an instance of a class, the constructor is called to set up the class. That's, that's all it is. It's just the first method that's called when you create a class. Just so I can redeem myself from all the closes I've missed, let's just close this because we're going to be using it a little bit later, eventually. But let's work with our person class for now. So, whoa, didn't mean to do that. So we're going to create a constructor for our person class. To create a constructor, what you have to do is it has to be a public method because you want to access this, this constructor from outside of this person.java class. We want to be able to access this this constructor from our first class, which is which is not the person class. So to do this, the method has to be public. So we have a public method, and the name of your constructor is always just person. You always just type public and then the name of your class. We don't need a return value, don't we don't need anything fancy like that. We just need public and then person. And then you have the parentheses and you can have parameters in here and we'll get to that but for now we're not going to have any parameters let's just do this so what you want to do in your constructor is you generally want to get everything set up you want to have everything rolling so you can use your class as soon as possible so what you do a lot of the times is you might call some other methods to help set up some things in your class but since our class is just really basic right now all we need to do is assign our variables values so let's assign our name just to be something of a default value just let's just say Bob like I said in the other tutorial and you also have age and let's just set that equal to 10 and I was saying earlier that you don't want to set variables up here and that's another reason is because this is something that can the constructor takes care of so we have our constructor ready so let's actually just create a person a person object right now so let's just go in between here and we're gonna have a person Bob be equal to new person that's view not new new person okay so now we have a Bob variable created and when this this constructor is called the name is gonna be automatically set to Bob and the age is gonna be automatically set to 10 so that's cool and let's just double check to see how this is working and like I was saying earlier you can't just have the age and name or variables be directly accessed from another class so if I had like oops I need to do Bob dot age this wouldn't this wouldn't work we should get an error and it's gonna say something like it's not visible so that's because it's private but what we can do is we can type Bob dot get age and with this it's going to let us print out his age and so let's just copy this line and hit enter and we'll do bob dot get bob dot get name as well and if we run this program we'll see that we get 10 and bob so that's pretty cool but like I was saying earlier, and if you go back into the person class, we can create several instances of this person class, and there's no real, there's really no reason for us to have every person be Bob and every person be a 10 year old named Bob. There's really no reason for that to happen. So what we can do is just get rid of these, and we can have parameters in our constructor that help us personalize this class. So we can have our first parameter just be string, and we'll say my name, and we can have the second one be age and it'll just be in my age and then when we pass these in what we're gonna do is we're gonna set name equal to my name 
and we're going to set age equal to my age. And what this is going to do is it's going to take our name variable in our class and it's going to set it equal to my name, our parameter. And it's going to take our age for our person class and set it equal to my age. So now let's go back here. And actually, we're getting an error for this, this old, this old um, constructor that we had. And this is going to happen because now we don't have a constructor that doesn't have any parameters. The only method that exists is this one with two parameters. So we have to make sure that this person constructor has these, these values that we want to pass in. So now we can type something like, we can go like, uh, well, we already did Jim. How about let's go Jill. We can have Jill and she is 45. And if we created this, this variable name doesn't really make any sense anymore, but that's cool. So if we just do uh, system dot out dot print ln, and we print out everything like we had before, and we'll just copy and paste this, copy and paste, and we do bob dot get name, and if we run this, we'll see that we have a 45 year old named Jill. So that's pretty cool. We'll be expanding on this in the next tutorial where we keep going hard with classes. So we're gonna go hard in the paint next video and I'm gonna see you guys later.